we are going to do a quick video with some tips and tricks for grooming your bunny. It's a topic that it seems simple, but some bunnies are very hesitant and dislike the process of being brushed. So Storm's babies, that's Mama Storm over there, and she has five 10-week-old babies. They're going to help me demonstrate this today. What's up, everybody? Yes, I have a bunny on my shoulder. This is Cheese Whiz, and we were trying to do a session of brushing, and she keeps jumping on my shoulder. Silly girl. Most of you know that when rabbits are molting, you really need to get that excess fur off of there because you don't want your bunny ingesting it. It can cause blockages. You wanna keep that gut moving. So, Springtime is often a molting time when the cold weather turns to warm and then again towards the end of summer or early fall. These babies are 10 weeks old and they are starting to molt their baby coats. So they will actually molt three times. Some molts are very small, other molts are very intense and can be rough on your bunny. The comb I am using, comb, brush, whatever you wanna call it, this is a hair buster. I will put the link below. It has metal teeth, but also this rubber band material woven in between, and it really helps to capture this fur, as you can see, so it doesn't fly around. <laughs> These guys are climbing all over. Bento's being really tolerant of the brushing. Omelette probably isn't going to want to sit still. Sometimes bunnies just really don't like that sensation so you might need to try different types of brushes. If your bunny doesn't like this comb with the metal teeth, and again, I'm being very gentle, then you might want to try a softer brush. It might not be as effective. Oh my goodness. I have lots of different brushes and this is my favorite. This really helps to get rid of that loose, dead fur. And when your bunny would clean him or herself, this is what they would be ingesting. Rabbits can't have hairballs like cats. So if they ingest too much fur, it can block their system up, which can be deadly. If you have a really reluctant bunny, it can be helpful to bribe your bunny. Maybe get some lettuce or parsley, whatever their favorite green is, favorite treat. You always wanna end on a good note too. So give your bunny pets, attention, a little something special, maybe even Bring a new toy out, such as a blanket like this. Something to distract them from the actual act of brushing if they don't like it. Some bunnies really like it, and you'll know that if they're sitting there chomping their teeth, that's like bunny purrs. Callie does not like brushed. She is one that I have to bribe. She is molting right now, so I have to give her treats. And sometimes another trick that can help is Keep your bunny in a small area, such as up on a table, you know, put a nice blanket or mat up on the table, a small area where they can't really run away. They're a captive audience. That's what I have to do with Callie over here because she is not a happy camper. I did not brush her enough as a baby, apparently. So I try to start with my babies, my bunnies, as young as possible, getting them used to this sensation some are really tolerant of it and others are not. But I find that if you brush them when they are small, as soon as you get your bunny, it really can help during molts. So when it is imperative that you brush your bunny, your bunny won't be so disgruntled. I really try to concentrate on the areas that the bunny will be cleaning. When they reach around, they're typically cleaning this area on their sides. Those I consider to be the urgent areas to clear that dead fur, that loose fur. So after I focus on the main areas, I go to the back, back here in the hind corner area where they tend to not reach real well. So it's not as vital to get that first. Top of the head, Storm here is 
very tolerant of being brushed. It can be difficult to get these areas down here behind your neck. Sometimes I just end up pulling the loose fur out like that because the brush, I just can't get a good angle on it. So if you can, gently pull it out. It's fine, it won't hurt your bunny. She didn't even seem bothered by that, did she? But if they're just shaggy everywhere, just do the, go for the whole body grooming session, the full package. So I hope you found that useful. If you find yourself with a molting bunny or you have not been brushing your bunny, I highly recommend Make that part of your regular routine. Start as young as possible so that when it is essential during molts to brush your bunny, your bunny will be less reluctant. If you would like more bunny content, remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video, drop a comment or question below. Thanks so much for watching. You guys definitely want to be in the limelight. Hi. Oh my goodness. She's on my shoulder. She's Wiz jumped on my shoulder. Hi, Wizzy. Oh my goodness. And this is why you want to make sure not to put tall things near the perimeter of your exercise pen if you don't want your bunny getting out because some bunnies are very good at climbing. Oh my goodness, they're so loud. That's Omelette. <laughs> Omelette, do you not want to be brushed? Omelette is eating my hair. Omelette, it's like having a bunch of toddlers. Hi. <laughs> Somebody else is on my back too, over here. Who else is back here? I can't tell. Um, by process of elimination, it has to be Cheese Whiz, because I see the other three.